So welcome to IQ online classes. So today we are going to answer exam questions on each and every topic in engineering, science, or physics. So we'll start with momentum, full momentum here. So a 0.01 kg particle traveling to the, to the right at the speed of 0.5 meters per second strikes a 0.02 kg particle traveling to the left with a speed of 0.15 meters per second. Find the final velocities for the particles if the coefficient of distortion is 0 0.1 0.5b. Find the final velocity for the particles if the coefficient of illustration here is 0 0.20, 0 0.5b. Okay, so here, the first thing we need to understand here is what type of collision is this one? So, what type of collision is this one? So, when the coefficient of illustration is less than 1, anything less than 1 there is what? Partial or semi elastic collision. So, this is semi elastic or partial elastic equation. And the first and the other thing we need to understand what is the coefficient of restriction? What is this coefficient of restriction here? This is just the ratio of the final velocities to initial velocities here. Just the ratio of final velocities to initial velocities. So for we'll us to answer this question, how to involve two equations. The first equation is the equation for momentum itself, and the second equation is the coefficient of restriction. Okay? So let's start with the, co the equation for coefficient of restriction, which is what they say E. E there which is the coefficient of restriction. So let's say E can use U over E okay, to represent the coefficient of restriction is equal to what? Open you say negative V2 minus V1 over what? U2 minus what? Minus U1 here. Okay? Okay. In our previous video, I showed you where this this formula is coming from. I explained where this formula is coming from and how this formula was made. So it's the formula for coefficient of illustration. So this is the first thing you, you need when you answer such questions here. It's the first thing you need when you answer such questions. So the second, so this is the first formula you need here, one. Number two, you need the equation for momentum itself. You need the equation for momentum itself. So what's the equation for momentum itself? So here I'm going to say the mass of part one, Okay, let me put it here. The number two for momentum is the mass of part one there multiplied by the initial speed of part one plus the mass of part two multiplied by the initial speed of part two there is equal to what? The mass of part one multiplied by the final speed of part one. Okay, plus the mass of part two there multiplied by the final speed of part two there. So this is the second equation we need here. So when you are answering such question where you are given the coefficient of restriction, when you are told to find the final velocity is there, these are the two equations that you need. Whatever you do to this equation, you do to this equation. For example, if using this equation there, because here they ask us to find the final velocity. The final velocity is at V, V2 and V1. These are the initial velocities. So in, in this question, they ask us to find the final velocity, meaning I'll find V2 and V1 here. So here the key is, if in this equation we decide to make V2 the subject of formula, meaning also in this equation we have to make this V2 the subject of formula. So whatever we do to this equation is what we do to this equation. Then at the end we need to solve them simultaneously or we need to equate them to each other. Okay? So now let's start solving this equation here. Okay? Let's start solving this equation here. Okay? First we we'll start by using this top formula here. The first thing we do, we use the top formula here. Okay? Okay. So here we say the top formula here was e to the position of the equal to what? Negative v2 minus what? v1 over u2 minus what? u1. Okay. This is u1 here. Okay. So now in this equation, that e, the position of the position, we are given to 0 0.5. So we need to put it there and say 0 0.5. Okay. Is equal to what? Negative this one negative character multiplied by v2 to negative v2 mod, negative multiplied by v1 plus what? v1 there over u2 minus what? u1 there. Okay, this is u1. Okay, this is u1 here. Okay, this one here. So this is the equation here. So what do you do next here? So this, the ini these initial velocities are given in the equation. Okay. This u1 is the initial velocity for part one here, which is this part that is traveling to the right here. So meaning this 
feedback lifestyle into the right here is represented by U1, it's meaning the first part. Okay? And this one traveling to the left to here is represented by what? U2 here. So here the trick, the trick is this. The particle traveling to the left will be negative. The, the speed for a particle that is traveling toward the left direction is what? Negative. And this one traveling to the right is what? Positive here. Because if you draw again, this is the, the x-axis here. Okay? So here the x positive here, x negative here. So, so this is the left hand side here, and this is the right, the right hand side here. Okay? So meaning any part that is going towards where x is negative here, towards the left hand side, meaning the speed will be what negative, and this one will be positive here. That's that's the key. Okay? So here your guide, whenever they mention right, left hand side, just so that the speed is what negative. So this one traveling to the left, which is part code two. This speed will what negative. So, so this one will be 0 0.5 b equal to negative b2 plus what v1 there over this one will be negative. So the speed negative 0 0.15. Okay, minus what is v1? v1 is traveling to the right, meaning the speed will what close to 0 0.5 there. Okay. So here, let me emphasize this. The part of the to the left of the speed will what? Negative here, like this one, okay? So here, you can do cross multiplication, you say over one here. So this one will be negative, what on, that one negative B2 plus what? B1 is equal to what? What is 0 0.5 multiplied by negative 0 0.15? What is 0 0.5 multiplied by, multiplied by, what is 0 0.5 there? Okay? Multiplied by negative 0 0.15. Okay. This one will give us this one will give us negative 0 0.075. Okay. And what is 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.5? Which is minus 0 0.25 there. Okay? Okay, so here we can do the mathematics, so this one will be negative b2 plus b1 b, b1 b, b1 is equal to, what is the answer here? Negative 0 0.075 minus 0 0.25, okay, This one will give us negative 0 0.325. Negative 0 0.325 here. Okay? So here you make one of these V2 or V1 the subject of formula. But in this case here, we already know that this V1 is positive here. So it's very easy to make V1 the subject of formula because it's already positive here. So meaning this one will go the other side. So it will be V1 is equal to what? Negative 0 0.325. This one will jump over as negative to positive. It's the V2 here. Okay? Which is V2 there. Okay? So meaning this is equation 1. Equation 1 here. Equation number 1 there. Okay? So whatever I've done with this equation for constraint of restriction, meaning we should do to the other equation for what? For momentum there. To do to the other equation for momentum there, okay. So let me move this part here, okay. Okay. So now. So that is question number one here. So now let's introduce the equation of momentum here. So say m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to what? m1 v1 plus what? m2 v2 here. This is the equation of momentum here. So whatever I've done with this equation is due to this equation. So like in this equation of make v1 the subject of formula, meaning even on this equation for momentum, not to make v1 the subject of what formula. So to make this v1 the subject of formula, meaning this 
has to go the other side, so it will be M1, U1, plus it, M2, U2, then this one without M1 to go to come this side, so it will be negative, M2, V2 like that, okay, then V equal to what? M1, V1 like that, okay, so here our main goes to make V1 the subject of formula, which is this V1 here, okay, so many of you have to the subject of what? M1 here, okay, Again, this side, this is the other thing of what? M1 here, okay. See this M1 here, okay. So meaning, this, this and this will go. So now what? V1 is equal to what? M1, U1 plus C, M2, U2 minus M2, V2 there. Everything divided by what? M1 here, okay. Okay, so this is M1 here, U1 here, okay. So now here, just a matter of replacing the values here. So now here, just a matter of replacing the values. So say, V1 is equal to what? What is M1? What is mass 1? 0. 0.01. 0. 0. 0. 0.01 there. This is 0. 0.01, okay. Multiply by what is the initial speed for, for part one there, which is what? 0 0.5, okay? Plus what is mass 2 there? 0 0.02 kg, okay? Multiply by what is the initial speed for, for part one there? We said because traveling to the left it will be negative what? Negative 0 0.15 there, okay? Minus, what is M2 there? Mass 2, 0 0.02 V2. Over what? What is mass 1? What is mass 1? That question, mass 1, that question is 0 0.01. Okay. 0 0.01 there. Okay. So now from there, we can do the mathematics. Okay. But let's not forget this equation here. Let's say 0 0.01, 0 0.01 there, multiplied by 0 0.5, okay? 0 0.01 multiplied by 0 0.5 there, we have something like 0. Okay, let me just find it together here. Okay, 0 0.01 multiplied by 0 0.5, okay? Close here, plus here. 0 0.02 multiplied by negative 0 0.15 there. Okay, just have to get close. This one is being to the directions. So maybe here we have 0, which is 2, 2 times 10 to the power negative 3, which is 0 0.002. Okay, 0 0.002, which is 1, 2, 3 there. Okay. Over, okay, minus 0 0.02 V2 here, okay? So this answer, I'll just, I'll find this, just this, I'll find it. Okay. So we have 0 0.02, then minus 0 0.02 V2 here. This are like things, we can't do any mathematics there. So over, everything over what? Okay? Let me put it like this here, let's say, let me also get V1. This goes to what? 0 0.002 minus 0 0.02. We have everything over what? 0 0.01. Okay. So now here you can divide everything. So 0 0.002, so here you can divide 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.1 there. So meaning, so say V1. Is equal to what? 0 0.02 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.1 0 0.01 0 0.2 there 0 0.2 
minus again 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.01 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.02 divided by divided by 0 0.01 then which is just 2 v2 there okay so what's the next step there we need to equate those two equations to each other we need to equate those two equations to each other there okay so meaning the other this is the equation this is equation 2 here equation 2 okay and the first equation was equation 1 was b1 is equal to what in negative 0 0.325 plus what v2 there this was equation number one equation one here equation number one Okay, so what's this? We need to equate this equation. We need to equate this equation to each other here. We need to solve them spontaneously by equating this equation to each other. So you get this equation the way it is said to be 0 0.2 minus 2v2 is equal to what? You get this one the way it is minus 0 0.325 plus what? V2 there. Okay, so what's the next thing there? You can move the right hands. So this one comes the other side to be negative 2v2. This one is plus then minus V2 is equal to what? Negative 0 0.325 there plus what? No? Minus 0 0.2. Okay? So this 0 0.2 go to the other side. So what is negative 2V2 minus V2 is what? Negative 3V2 is equal to what? Negative 0 0.325 minus 0. 0.2 which is negative 0 0.525 there okay so meaning one will remain v2 over negative 3 okay and this side over negative 3 so this and this will cancel when you say v2 here equals to what answer divided by negative 3 which is 0 0.175 meters per watt per second which is v2 here so this is how we find v2 here okay so i found v2 so now finding v1 is simple and straightforward there so finding v1 is now simple and straightforward there okay okay so to find v1 there you can get any any equation here any of these two equations here so let's get this one let's say Equation number one here say so say v1 is equal to what 0. Point, negative 0. 0.325 okay plus what v2 what is v2 there 0. 0.175 so I've used I've used this equation here I've used this equation I've used this equation here v1 equals negative 0. 0.325 plus V2. Where does V2 you put the other value for V2 there? So meaning what is V1? What is V1? V1 is equal to what? Negative 0 0.325 plus 0 0.175. Which is negative 0 0.15 meters per second in Okay? So therefore, therefore V2 is equal to what? 0 0.175 meters per second. Okay? And V1 is equal to what? 0 0.15 meters per second there. Okay? So this is how we solve this question here. So thank you. See you in the next video.